From Furniture to Decor, Gaze Furnishings offers a selection of timeless products that celebrate functional design and which are appropriate in a traditional or contemporary environment. Today we talk to Modoni Ngugi who has been running the business for the last three years. So my name is Modoni Ngugi, I'm an interior designer, interior decorator. So yeah, this is what I do, interior as well as furniture production. For starters, gaze furnishing means to look into, to gaze at something. So I wanted an environment, to create an environment where when someone comes in, they gaze. That's number one. So uh, what inspired me to do this is to create a solution for people who found luxury very expensive. So I wanted to create a solution for like, um, uh, for such kind of people to find luxury at affordable prices. I'm into details. Yeah, just as I as I had told you earlier, if something is not straight, I will not rest until it is. So that's what I'm passionate about. And interior is about details. So the business is three years old. For the first two years, it had it was hectic. It was it was too much. Like uh, so many thoughts of giving up, going down and under, coming back up. But the third year, it paid off. So the third year being this year is when people started knowing gaze and gaze. Yeah. For Mudoni, the interior design market is not yet flooded and the uniqueness of every interior designer makes the market more available. Well, I think flooded is a stretch because interior is so broad. There's a restaurant, there's domestic, commercial. So it's so broad, I don't think it can ever be flooded. So each interior designer have their own niche. So, yeah, I don't think it's flooded. I think each interior designer has their own uniqueness and that makes the market still available for so many other people. Middle to high end, that was my target audience. By middle uh, is the solution of uh, them affording luxury and by high end is for them to have like a solution for instead of importing furniture they can get the same thing at a lower price locally finding your own market audience makes it easy to sell your products and modoni proves this to be the best way of fighting the growing competition well just fi i find my niche i find my um strong point and then um, in business you'll always find your followers that's for sure. So I think if someone buys a piece at my competitor's uh, design studio, I think God intended that to be and no any other person can um, change that. Like if uh, God sends someone to tell you something, no one, nothing can stop it. It has to come to you, the message. And until it comes to you is when that person can, I don't know, it's when things can go left, but it has to come to you. It's the same thing. If someone buys something at another design studio, I think it was meant to be for that design studio. You know? Yeah, if someone buys something here, it was meant for me, either to teach me something, either to teach them something. So I don't deal, I don't see the world as competition or the business. I see it as um, favor to each and everybody in the market. Mostly I get my customers from um, social media, so we have Facebook and Instagram, yeah, but mostly referrals, yeah, tender me my and then the other person will spread the gospel, yeah. With their vast collections accurated with your home in their mind, Modoni tells us of how they are forever thinking about every customer they get and what they both need. I think I'm very affordable. But only if you understand the concept of fine, finer things in life, yeah? Because you get what you pay for. If you want uh, less, that's, that, that's, um, that's what draws the line in uh, life of uh, the rich, the poor, the middle, because the people who want to stretch get the finer things in life. The people who don't want to, they stay, they lag, they lag behind. So I think I'm very affordable, especially to people who understand the finer things in life. Yeah, and the people who understand that the things I produce can be way expensive, but I'm giving you a solution. Challenges is one thing that every business faces in one way or the other. 
And as for gaze furnishings? Well, one is production. Production takes time. Once people understand that finer things take time, then um, we'll be good to go, but unfortunately we are not there yet. People want a piece in two weeks, regardless of how it looks like. Guess Furnishing produces a piece in three weeks, and we mind, we put in our souls how it looks like. You know, that's a big challenge, because they will be like, why did you take my money if you said you can deliver in two weeks and you don't have the piece? And uh, in my heart, of course I don't say it out loud, in my heart I'm like, why would you want something in two weeks which won't last you more than five, ten years? Would you just rather wait for like three, four weeks and get a piece? Because furniture is expensive, I won't lie. Relatively, yeah? So just wait and get something that you will use long term. Business is hard in general. I can't even begin to list the challenges. They are endless. But the moment you fear God, you remain grounded. And to her parting short, you can't please everybody. So many multi-billion companies still have people complaining about them. But I learned to look at the good things that happen on a daily. I satisfy 90, 80, 90, and the 10 don't go, go home unsatisfied. But the 10 won't bring me down because the 90 are happy. Yeah, but just trust your gut. If you feel like you've not delivered, admit it. But if you feel like you truly have, then leave it to God and move on to the next person. Motivation starts from within. Like I didn't grow up in a very good family, so that's motivation. Because I wanted to have a dining table. We didn't grow up with a dining table. That's motivation. So it starts from within. You don't have to look at Modoni and be motivated to be like Modoni. Look at the situation you're in and what you've been through and then find a solution maybe for your kids and your children. Like a good business woman leaves inheritance for your kids' children. That's what I can say. So motivation starts from within. Stop looking at everybody else. And there are so many people who are, they look rich, but they are not, you know? Or they, are, they find their well, wealth in many different ways. Well, the stereotypes will always be there, but I think um, what a man can do, a woman can do as well. I wouldn't say a woman can do better, <laughs> but it, it, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. If you are motivated, if you know what you're doing, it will show. Be it either, I don't know, be it uh, your man or a woman, it will show. And people often follow the people who know what they're doing.